Hello again, scientists. My name is Miss Cordova and I teach second grade at Viewlands Elementary here in Seattle. And I wanna to start today by honoring um, the Coast Salish lands and waters that we are living on here in Seattle. I also wanted to remind you about some things that you can do to stay safe when you are going on outdoor walks. I'm just on the property of my apartment building, but if I'm going to go on a walk in my neighborhood, I wanna look around and if I see people, I'm gonna step off to the side so that I am giving them that six feet of space. Today I was, going, I was on a run this morning and I would have to really pay close attention to who I was walking past so that I could make sure I was going off to the side so that we weren't staying too close together. But again, I'm just at my apartment, so I know that if I see a neighbor, I'll wave and I'll step to the side. So you might see me do that today. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about is if you have been recording the weather, I had a couple of ideas of things that I could show you if you were trying to record the weather. I just made a really easy table where I put the temperature in and the weather. Or if you're used to making something like a line plot or a graph, you could do that too and keep track. You could also maybe be ready to start making some predictions, but if you are gonna make predictions or if you're tracking the weather, you wanna pay attention to the time of day because you'll start to notice that if you take the temperature at eight o'clock in the morning and then again at two o'clock in the afternoon, the temperature is gonna be very different. So again, I'm gonna to start today by writing today's date. The time that I decided to come outside today and also the temperature. It is 52 degrees and I'm looking around and it is um, mostly cloudy where I live and maybe where you live it's a lot different today. Now as you can see I decided to come out to the part of my apartment building where there is water and the reason I did that today is for a really specific purpose. Today I wanted to think about what was here before where I live was here which sounds like kind of a silly question, but not just I mean before I moved here, but I mean before this building was here, before this bridge behind me was put in, what did this space start to look like? So I'm gonna look around a little bit and try to gather some evidence that might tell me more about what was here before, before this building was here. So even as I just get really close, I see this kind of line of rocks. And I wonder if these rocks were put here to kind of keep the water from coming up into our yards or if maybe they were there before and where do those rocks come from? I know that rocks often come from bigger pieces of rock or they wash up from places so I'm already having a lot of questions about this rocks and if you saw the last video of course we see that there's some interesting moss growing on here too. So the rocks go deep into the water here. I also see a lot of plants oh, <laughs> that are close to the water. Um, many of you might see, oh, it just poked me. Many of you might see uh, plants that look like this. I think that could be a blackberry bush maybe. You may have noticed that blackberry bush grow really quickly around um, where I live in Seattle. So I know that those grow all over the place and that's, they're really hard to stop. So I'm thinking about, could there have been a bunch of blackberry bushes here before this apartment building was here? Uh, I, you also might start paying attention to the size of the plants that you see. For example, a plant that's like this probably hasn't been here for very long, but a tree like that, that is super, super tall and its branches are going really, really wide, really wide out, probably was here before this building was put there. So when we got ready to build this building and this apartment building that I live in, do you think that they had to build around the tree? Could they maybe have had to cut down some trees in order to put these buildings here? So again, I have a lot of questions. Now I wanna come show you something really cool that I noticed when I came outside today. And it, I don't wanna scare them. If you see animals on your walks or in your neighborhood, keep a safe distance. We're not going to be feeding animals or anything, of course, but I have some Canadian geese here and they're these really big, beautiful birds and you're always going to see them in these big groups. So again, when you notice animals, you might start to think about what was here before we were here. We were here living in these apartment buildings. So I see animals, I see plants, I see all kinds of things around me and I might want to start taking some notes and to help understand what could have been here before I was here in this place.
You also might notice I have a big bridge behind me. And that tells me a lot about people needing to get to places. So if people are needing to get to places, we have to change things about where we live. So as you're taking these notes and observing this week or today, maybe think a little bit more about why certain things are where they are, who was here before we were here, what animals, what plants were here, and what kind of changes had to be made. And then think about how the decisions that people make really shape the way that um, the world is around you. So I hope you have a nice time on your walk today. Remember to stay safe and take a lot of good notes and we'll see you next time. Bye scientists.